long, long time ago that Jim Black was engaged in disreputable behavior, I had been speaking out very loudly since 2000, but the major papers in this state kept the lid on right up till the time the FBI made it impossible for them to continue the lie. Yeah. Apparently, political power can buy a lot of good press and some serious silence. And that's why you have runaway growth of bad government and bad regulations. It's not just the taxes. There's a lot of other problems coming from our government these days. For example, those who read the papers mistakenly believe they know what's happening in government. Hardly. Not even close. Let me give you an example close to home. Prior Gibson has introduced a bill in Raleigh that would, if passed, appear to permit the Rocky River to be used as the toilet disposal for all the surrounding counties with no advance notice to landowners along the river. Appalling. I have yet to see a single warning in a single paper to the effect that the rules on interbasin transfers may be gutted. I have yet to see a word warning that the public that these state regulations are being tinkered with in Raleigh to promote the interests of certain developers. Wonder why. You know, a lot of people consider April 15th tax cut, but the taxes collected on April 15th are actually a very, very small part of the burden imposed by our out-of-control government. As a CPA, I've done a lot of income tax returns, and what offends me most is not the amount of the tax collected, but the flagrantly dishonest system used to collect that tax. Amen. 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 The ridiculous, and I do mean ridiculous, regulatory burden imposed to collect that tax. Land of the free? It's not freedom when the government enslaves you with thousands and thousands of regulations they claim are for your benefit. The income tax system is not voluntary. No matter how often politicians repeat that convenient lie. Try not complying with the tax laws if it's voluntary. Now, of course, a few people may get cabinet positions, but most of us commoners would face jail time if we ignored the record-keeping regulations and forgot to send them the money. Am I right? the current system opposed the fair tax because they say the fair tax rate would be too high. But wait a minute, that's how much the government's already taking. Most major opponents of the fair tax like the current system because it lets insiders buy preferential treatment from elected officials who use the campaign contributions to deceive the public so they can stay in office. Our current tax system is wildly unfair. And believe me, I know. Winston Churchill once said, if you have 10,000 regulations, you destroy all respect for the law. Yeah. Winston had it right. I've served in the legislature, and I've seen how our state's so-called leaders ignore the Constitution, ignore the Golden Rule, and enrich themselves and their friends through tinkering with the rules, while the major media throughout the state serve as the cheerleaders for those folks and go after those who try to expose the dishonesty. The perverse behavior of the media has been so extreme I've reluctantly concluded the public might be better served if most of them did go out of business because I see no sign they're willing to serve as the watchdogs they claim to be. Amen. For an immediate example, look at how the taxpayers' rallies today are being covered. Numbers minimized, lack of prior announcements. They don't want us to know that the silent majority might be getting ready to speak up. You know, everyone has heard the devil's in the details. You all know that saying. Mm -hmm. But knowing that, why do we permit so many details to be imposed on the public out of public view? Could it be we've been deceived by those who say it is all for our own good? I'd certainly say so. You may know how much income tax you pay, 
but I'll guarantee you have no idea of the total cost to you of the innumerable hidden taxes imposed by those who claim to represent you. The bailout alone has guaranteed everyone in this country an additional debt of many thousands of dollars, and no one is really telling the public what all these government goodies are going to actually cost. Medicare. No taxation without representation sounds good, but it doesn't go nearly far enough. I think the new slogan needs to be, don't tread on me. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. Don't tread on me and get off my back. You know, they keep saying it's just a little tax, yeah. or it's just a little increase, or it just takes a little time, or it's just a little regulation. Well, the hmm. camel knows what all those little things adds up to, and I think that the camel has about had enough in this country. I think the silent majority has about had enough, because all those little things add up. I'm outraged. Yes. How about you? Yes. yes. yes.